come on now. Don't you start the little He's gotten all mean and stuff. Here's the deal, Brother Derek. Before I ever preach this stuff to everybody out here, I've done preached it to myself. I've done had to come in here just a week or so ago and pray myself out of a terrible funk. Dreaming up crazy stuff in my mind again. And I'd pray about 30 seconds and I'd, all, I'd be out on Mars somewhere. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Imagining stuff. Y'all making me so nervous tonight that I'm going like for an hour longer. He is. You've got to understand something. I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can hold on. Hold on through what? Look at here. Let's read the Bible. Master, Master, don't you care that we perish? That's where their mentality is. The Lord said, we're going over. We're in the boat. Let's go. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs. You can see those two. I'm not going to talk about it all the time, but you can see those tombs. In the, in the seven days war and different wars, they hid in those same tombs. They're still there. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Next verse. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Next verse. Because that he had been often bound. Oh, God have mercy. Well, Pete, they, they tied him up with chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces, meaning the things they had him bound with, he would just break them. Neither could any man tame him. Next verse. And always. Let me tell you something. If this don't touch your heart, if you cannot see where I'm preaching from tonight when you read this passage... Jesus said, Man, I know you might be hungry and I know you might have worked hard all day and I know things, you know, you might be going through a little something right now, but I want you to read what the Word of God says. Jesus and the disciples, Sister Kelly, they just came through a storm. A storm that was so bad that they thought it was going to take their life. Now, we've got to keep that in perspective, Sister Maria. These men lived on that sea. And if you read about it, those storms happened all the time. At a moment's notice, a storm would spring up, Brother Larry. It was part of life. But this one was so bad that they had done decided it was over. And always, night and day. Everybody say night and day. He was in the mountains. <laughs> 